Dr. Carter G. Woodson started Black History Month in 1926, 1927, so we could know who we are, so we could celebrate who we are. I don't wanna hear about the white people not celebrating Black History Month. They don't even value your life. Why would they celebrate your struggle? They don't even value your existence. Why would they celebrate your experience? They don't even value you being on the planet. Why would they celebrate your culture? The Brendan Depper protest got pushed back. They're trying to sabotage. They're trying to sabotage the protest by delaying the sentencing. They're trying to sabotage the protest by delaying the sentencing. But as Public Enemy said, it takes a nation and millions to hold me back. It takes a nation and millions to hold Ifa Tunde back. They knew that I was going to expose the injustice in the Brendan Depper case. They knew I was going to expose the injustice in the Brendan Depper case. So they pushed the date back trying to sabotage us. You can't stop us. It takes a nation of millions to hold Ifa Tunde back. Soon when the new date is announced, I want y'all to pull up and I better see Africans from all over America. I heard some of my Caribbean Africans is coming to the next Brendan Depper protest. Y'all better pull up because if you don't pull up to the protest, you might not be allowed at the FDMG grand opening celebration. If you don't come to the Brendan Depper protest, you might not be allowed at the FDMG grand opening. You heard what I said. You heard what I said. Black queens forever, snow bunnies never. If you don't show up to the Brendan Depper protest, you ain't coming to FDMG. If you can't stand for black children, don't come into our school. If you can't stand for black children, don't come into our school. Tonight, it's going down at the Scottish Rite Cathedral. It's going down at the Scottish Rite Cathedral, 29 West 6th Street, Jacksonville, Florida. It's the first day of Black History Month. And this is what I want to say to all my Africans about Black History Month. This is what I want to say to all my Africans in America, my American Africans. I don't want to hear you complaining about what white people are not doing for Black History Month. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear you complaining about what the Caucasians are not doing for Black History Month. You better go to your public library and you better put on a Black History Month event. You better put on a Black History activity for the youth. You better do something for Black History Month. Don't tell me about the white newspapers. Don't tell me about the white television stations, the cable networks. I don't want to hear about them because they are not African. You are African. You celebrate Black History Month. You celebrate Black History Month. You celebrate Black History Month. I don't want to hear about nobody who don't look like me. They have no obligation to celebrate your culture. Dr. Carter G. Woodson started Black History Month in 1926, 1927, so we could know who we are, so we could celebrate who we are. I don't want to hear about the white people not celebrating Black History Month. They don't even value your life. Why would they celebrate your struggle? They don't even value your existence. Why would they celebrate your experience? They don't even value you being on the planet. Why would they celebrate your culture. Don't call yourself a proud African and you're not doing nothing for Black History Month in your city, especially the small cities, the cities that don't have a lot of blacks. My Omaha, Nebraska, celebrate your history. My Phoenix, Arizona, celebrate your history. Boonell, Florida, celebrate your history. Des Moines, Iowa, celebrate your history. Salt Lake City, Utah, Africans, celebrate your history. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school paint day coming up. Who coming to help us paint? Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school paint day coming up. Who coming to help us paint? Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school paint day coming up. Hit your PayPal, 
paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit your PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit your PayPal, paypal.me. In the name of Black History Month, I want every African on the planet Earth to hit the Cash App and hit the PayPal. This is the first day of 2024, Black History Month. I don't care if you send $1. I don't care if you send one dollar in honor of our ancestors, in honor of our ancestors from Africa, from Europe, from the Caribbean, Canada, Australia, South Pacific, Europe, Asia, Central and South America, the 50 states of America. Hit your cash app. I don't care if you send one dollar in the name of the ancestors. Help us build black schools for black children in the name of the ancestors. Help us build black schools for black children. Hit your cash app, brother brothers and sisters. Hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit your cash app for Black History Month, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit your cash app. Hit your PayPal, FDMG Academy. Hit your PayPal, FDMG Academy. Hit your PayPal, FDMG Academy. Listen to me. Snow Bunny Hoppers, I'm going to let you hit the cash app. Snow Bunny Hoppers, I'm going to let you hit the cash app for Black History Month. Snow bunny, if you a snow bunny hopper in recovery, because I will be have a bunny hoppies recovery, snow bunny hoppers recovery conference. Snow bunny hoppers recovery conference is coming soon. If you cannot stop swimming in the snow, if you cannot stop swimming in the milk, don't you worry. Snow bunny recovery is on its way. Hit the cash app, bunny hoppers, dollar sign FDMG school. Dollar sign FDMG school. Dollar sign FDMG school. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. PayPal. Savannah, Georgia. I'm going to see you Saturday night. Savannah, Georgia. I'm going to see you Saturday night. The day after tomorrow. At the second annual Gullah Geechee. Oyo Tunji African Village second annual Grand African Ball. You must wear your African attire. You must wear your Af ladies. You must wear your African attire. Oh yes, oh yes. Four sixty Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard Annex. Let me get the address right. Who coming to Savannah, Georgia with a African garb on Saturday night at 6 p.m. for the Grand African Ball? They going to have a happy hour at 4 o'clock. You could show up for the happy hour and get you some good African spirits in your soul. I want all my bunny hoppers to show up to the second annual Gullah Geechee Ball in Savannah, Georgia on Saturday, February the 3rd. Show up for the happy hour so you can get you some African spirits. To quench your snow bunny thirst, come get you some African spirits. Come get some organic African wine. Come get some palm wine, some Ethiopian honey wine, so we can quench your snow bunny thirst. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Savannah, Georgia. Beautiful African queens. I'm taking a picture with all my African sisters in a African garb Saturday night. I'm taking a picture with all my African sisters in Savannah, Georgia at the second annual Grand African Ball. I know they're going to be looking so beautiful. I love when the sisters put on the African garb. I'm just hoping that the sisters come with a natural hair. You still allowed if you're not natural. But I hope you accentuate your African clothing with the African hairstyle. I'm hoping you accentuate your African clothing with an African hairstyle at the second annual Grand African Ball in Savannah, Georgia, Saturday night, February the 3rd, 6 p.m. 4 p.m. is the happy hour. Come and get some African spirits. Come and get, ladies, don't be flirting all with me. Don't be getting all intoxicated trying to rub up on King Kong. Don't be getting all intoxicated trying to rub up on King Kong, ladies. Okay, because this is the African spiritual ball. We bringing out the Orishas. We bringing out the Ancestors. We bringing out the Agungun, the Egg Bay Orun. So you got to be on your best behavior, ladies. Don't be getting all frisky with Papa in Savannah after you had a couple drinks. Okay? Okay? Let me tell you the exact address. The exact address. Let me give it to y'all one time. 
Morehouse College. I can't wait to come. First time on campus for my Morehouse College Africans. Shout out to the young men of Morehouse. Y'all been trying to get me there for several years. Y'all been trying to get me to Morehouse for several years. Shout out to the black students at FAMU. Y'all been trying to get me to FAMU for several years. It's finally happened. FAMU and Morehouse, HBCU tradition. Where are my HBCU students and alumni at? Make some noise one time. Make some noise one time. Where are my HBCU alumni and students at? We representing HBCUs in February. We representing HBCUs. Where my alumni at? All my HBCU alumni. Even if your HBCU has been shut down, you are still an alum. That spirit of that HBCU is still, we got to stop letting these HBCUs get shut down. Every HBCU needs to become a FDMG. Every shutdown HBCU needs to become an FDMG. Every sh shutdown HBCU needs to become an FDMG. So, if you come into the second annual Gullah Geechee Ball, if you come into the second annual Gullah Geechee Ball Saturday, we will be at the Dr. Priscilla Thomas Annex. Dr. Priscilla Thomas Annex, 460 MLK Jr. Boulevard Annex Building. 460 MLK Jr. Boulevard Annex Building. 460 MLK Jr. Boulevard Annex Building building behind the Mark Ralph Gilbert Museum. More information, 912-349-7435. You want to be a vendor? You want to find out about that happy hour to get that African spirits in you? 912-349-7435. 912-349-7435. 912-349-7435. If you're trying to pull up to the second annual Gullah Geechee Grand African Ball. African attire only. African attire. The queens are going to be looking lovely. I'm taking a picture with everyone and I'm posting it on social media. So if you got that fly ass African outfit, you better come tomorrow. Take a picture with the notorious one. Come out Saturday, not tomorrow, Saturday to Savannah and take a picture with the notorious one, ladies, so you can get posted up. Come take a picture with the notorious one so I can post you up on my social media looking all good, looking all good, looking all good. If you ain't got natural hair, put a head wrap on. Put a head wrap on. Put you an African, get some of that Ghanaian cloth. Get some of that Nigerian cloth. Get some of that Botswana cloth. Get some of that Eritrean, Ethiopian, Somali, Sudanese cloth. Get some of that Namibian cloth. Get some of that Liberian, Togo cloth. Get some of that Sierra Leone cloth and wrap that head. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I don't want to drink because I don't drink. I do a little red wine occasionally, a little red wine occasionally. But because we invoking the ancestor Saturday night, if they got some ancestor wine, I might have to partake in some a goon goon punch and some a goon goon punch and some a goon goon punch. Who's showing up to Savannah, Georgia, Saturday night, February the 3rd with Dr. Umar Ifatunde, 6 p.m. Happy hour at four. All snow bunny hunters, come and get you some grand African spirits so we can quench your snow bunny thirst. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, brothers and sisters. <laughs>